Hello, today we are going to take a look at a romantic drama movie titled The Danish Girl. It is based on a true story that took place in Denmark in the mid-1920s. If you are new here, hi, I would love to have you as a subscriber. Watch this video at your own discretion. Spoilers ahead, the movie opens with a scene of five trees. A woman is looking at a painting of the same scenery. She is Gerda Wegener, a portrait artist. She is married to Honor Wegener, a popular landscape artist. After an art exhibition, Gerda and Honor walk back home cheerfully. The next day, Einer arrives at a ballet studio and admires a graceful ballet dancer. Meanwhile, Gerda is painting a portrait of a man in her studio at their flat. She presents her portraits to an art dealer, and he doesn't seem to like her art that much. He rejects her request for an exhibition and goes on admiring Einer's paintings instead. Gerda gets back home frustrated, and Einer tries to comfort her. One day, Herda walks in with an unusual request. She asks Einer to stand in for a female model who is late coming to their flat to pose for a painting she is working on. Ina agrees and starts dressing. He puts on the stockings and shoes and gets ready to pose, but Gerda insists that he wear the dress as well. Ina reluctantly holds the dress to his body, and he soon begins to feel something wonderful. That night, Einar watches Gerda undress admiring her body and strokes her nightgown, complimenting it. At a party, everyone talks about the couple and they want to know more about them. Gerda says when she first kissed Honor, she felt like she was kissing herself. When they get back home, Gerda undresses Einar, only to find him wearing her nightgown underneath his shirt. She is okay with it, and they start making out. She touches him like a man would have touched a woman, and Einar seems to enjoy it. Gerda convinces Einar to go to the artist ball dressed as a woman before that she gets in to pose for another painting as a woman she does his makeup and they head over to the studio Einar poses just like a woman and Gerda teases him calling him by the name Lily afterwards Herda picks out an outfit for Einar and trains him to walk in heels they both head out to the ball and Gerda introduces Einar as Lily to everybody Lily starts getting looks from several men at the ball and she blushes one gentleman in particular Henrik shows a lot of interest in Lily Henry kisses Lily and Gerda happens to see this suddenly Lily starts bleeding through the nose and Gerda escorts her outside the next morning Gerda tells Einar that it is better to not bring Lily out again she asks him about that kiss with tears in her eyes and Einar tells her that it was just Lily and not him as tension starts mounting between the two Einar leaves he goes to the ballet studio and starts undressing in front of a mirror he observes his body and hides his private parts to look like a woman when Einar comes back home Verda has painted a portrait of Lily Gerda takes the portraits of Lily that she painted back to the art dealer and this time he is impressed the act of posing as a female figure on mask Einar's lifelong gender identity as a woman this sets off a progression first tentative and then irreversible of leaving behind the identity as Einar which he has struggled to maintain all his life Lily meets with Henrik who reveals to her that he knows she is actually Honor confused and embarrassed Lily leaves his house later she talks about her gender identity with Gerda who very lovingly understands even though she is hurt by the truth Einar meets with a doctor and the doctor tells him that he just has a chemical imbalance which can be cured so he is put through radiation treatment but it does not work Lily's identity continues to grow stronger within him and the doctor tells Gerda that her husband is insane Verda's portraits of Lily attracts serious attention from art dealers in a way that her previous portraits had not she travels to Paris with Einer to exhibit her art Einer visits a Parisian brothel just to look at a woman and mimic her feminine movements Gerda meets with a childhood friend of Lily named Hans whom Lily had kissed when they were young Herda introduces Lily to Hans, and Lily is comfortable around him and her true identity. A few days later, Lily offers to sit for Gerda again for her portraits. Gerda's paintings of Lily bring her a lot of success and fame, but without her actual husband, Gerda is depressed. She comes back home and tells Lily, I need to see my husband, but Lily says, No, I'm sorry. Meanwhile, Hans and Gerda's mutual attraction is a challenge as Gerda is navigating her changing relationship with Lily, 
but Hans's long-time friendship with an affection for Lily caused him to be supportive of both Lily and Gerda. Lily's continued existence presenting as male becomes too much to bear. Two strangers mock him and beat him at a park afterwards. Ina goes to Hans asking for help. Soon he starts to learn about his sexual condition. He seeks help from psychologists, but none yields any result. They assume Minor is schizophrenic which in one instance almost leads him to being committed to an asylum. Eventually, at Hans's recommendation, Gerda and Einar meet Dr. Kurt, who he has met several people like him who are physically male but identify as female and proposes a new innovative and controversial solution. Male to female sex reassignment surgery This would entail a two-part procedure that involves first removing Einar's external genitalia and then, after a period of recovery, fashioning a vagina. He warns Einar and Gerda that it is a very dangerous operation that has never been attempted before and that Einar would be one of the first to undergo it. He immediately agrees and soon after prepares to travel to Germany to begin the surgery. He bids goodbye to Hans and Gerda, who are ever so emotional to have to let go of their husband. Gerda arrives in Germany to be with Lily. After recovering, they go back to Denmark and Lily even gets a job at a perfumery. She gets along well with everyone at the store. Lily is ready to move on with her life, but Gerda is still struggling to accept the new reality. Lily tells her that she is ready to go in for the second surgery, but Gerda thinks it's too soon. They arrive in Germany once more for the second surgery. Lily is put to sleep and the surgery begins a while later. The doctor informs Gerda that Lily lost a lot of blood during the procedure and they can't keep the fever down. Gerda stays close to Lily and does everything she can to help her get better. In the morning, Lily wakes up with a wide smile and says, I am entirely myself now. Gerda and Hans take her out into the garden, and Lily assures Gerda that there is nothing to be afraid of anymore. Soon after, Lily breathes her last breath and dies due to complications from the second surgery. The film ends with Gerda and Hans on a hilltop back in Denmark in front of the five trees. Lily's painted lily scarf that Gerda is now wearing is carried away in the wind dancing. The ending lines reveal that Lily is an inspiration for today's transgender movement, and Gerda continued to paint portraits of Lily for the rest of her life. Have a good day.